renting a hotel or an apartment in Europe, Airbnb booking, everything explained. Okay, let's dive into it. Coffee with Mary without the coffee. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> My best experiences of renting have been in Sicily, and here's why. In Sicily, I've uh, rented places almost exclusively. There were a couple. I've rented a lot in Sicily, apartments and hotels, mostly apartments. <clears throat> and the owners would do their own cleaning 80 to 85% of the time. So that gives a certain pride to their property. And I liked meeting them. Every single one of those owners was a joy to be around. Knew what a person from another world we're basically from another planet when we come from the USA. What we want. We want Wi-Fi. We want a hot shower. I don't care about the size of the shower. We just want a comfortable bed. You don't want dogs barking 24-7 like in Mexico. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so here's the difference. It depends on your country in Europe. Um... And it depends on how much you're going to communicate with the owner before you move in. This whole COVID thing didn't make things better because now there's this, oh, just check in by yourself. No, that's crappy usually because like in France, for instance, um, the locks are, they can be weird. The locks don't, it's not all smooth and perfect as you're standing there with your luggage on a busy street in the dark alone. So, um, you know, people that write and say, oh, it's so easy to do this. No, you were with somebody, somebody had your back, um, et cetera, et cetera. So <clears throat> when you're by yourself, this is for people, women usually, but men too, by yourself when you're renting. Um, the thing about Airbnb I don't like, it's worked out okay to rent a room in an apartment on Airbnb, but if I rent something where they don't meet me, it's always a weird thing about getting the key. They could be, they're, they can't be bothered to make your experience great. And I don't want to strip the bed when I'm paying a cleaning fee. I'm just not going to. Um, I'm not going to pay that amount and then have to do some cleanup. I mean, I'm a clean person anyway. <clears throat> I do all my dishes and I don't leave the place a wreck. I don't have any parties. I don't have any drunken brawls. Um, <clears throat> but the thing about the keys is um, I once got locked in a bathroom on an Italian train by myself and had to bang on the door to get out. That was fun. And finally the conductor came. That was when I knew even less Italian than I know now. <clears throat> so keys can be different. Locks can go the, raw, the different way than what you're used to. Um, then you get into the place and find out that there's no elevator and you have to drag your luggage up yourself. Five flights, no one told you. You don't know where the light is. Um, it wasn't mentioned. <laughs> you know, it's like, <clears throat> I don't expect elevators, but I do expect to be warned <clears throat> that I'm gonna go up steep. <clears throat> extremely steep steps that are really narrow with my luggage five flights. I'd like to know that ahead of time and I'd like to know where the light is. That happens on Airbnb. It can happen on booking too. <clears throat> so if they're not going to meet you, I really prefer the accommodation where they're going to meet you. I'd ask a lot of questions and don't feel bad about it because those pictures can be deceiving. I've photographed hotels and accommodation and I can make it look like it actually doesn't look <laughs> with the right lenses and cropping out stuff that you don't want to see. Um, and then the other thing too is that you don't know about the, the sound. A lot of places say they're soundproof, they're not. Like, for example, in Paris, you're going to pay a high price. I did uh, have a good experience in a hotel there. I'll have the link below. It's in the Latin Quarter, totally safe. Elevator. It's basic. 
um, and it fluctuates in price from between 118 USD up to like 250 per night. Um, but I've stayed there three times and I really like it. So it's not, it's easier to find a hotel that's decent than an apartment that's decent. Um, because you don't know how quickly the owners will help you. You don't know how much they'll respond. Um, you don't know if they'll give you... Like, many don't understand that I'm from the USA. I don't have a SIM card here, so I can't communicate with you before I get to the front door. I'm not going to be on Wi-Fi. <laughs> so if they're not on WhatsApp, I can't even get a hold of them if I can't get in. <clears throat> and they're like, oh, we can't give you the key, the, the code until an hour before you get in. Well, that's too late. I need it before. Um, I need it before I leave my last accommodation to get into the new place. So they don't think about that. That doesn't concern them. All they care about is that you, they don't want you to check in early. I'm not going to check in early. I've got things to do. <laughs> got to travel. Uh, when you're by yourself, it, it you got to give yourself a lot more time. You don't have anybody lifting your luggage. You don't have anybody that you're checking where, like, they're doing half of the stuff that you have to do when you're traveling. Um, so it can take longer. So give yourself more time. Don't don't leave yourself too little time. Um, to get places to travel. You're very vulnerable when you're traveling. And you want to give yourself a lot more time to get to the airport, to get to the train station, <clears throat> to get a taxi, to get on the metro. Everything takes longer than you think. Like just getting out of the Paris metro last time, and I actually know the Paris metro pretty well. I couldn't find the escalators it go up. They don't have escalators at every stop. And I really wanted it because at that particular stop, it's much easier to take your luggage up than up and down steps. I don't know what people with mobility issues do because they just can't, they're not going to be able to go to a lot of places that don't have elevators. Um, so you just want to know things like that particular metro stop. I. I like to rent that hotel in that area because of a number of reasons. That is one of the reasons. Plus you come up, you're at the Sorbonne, you're in the middle of some nice restaurants and bars and there's a buzzy kind of feel where my favorite restaurant is there right next to the hotel. I mean, there's just a lot going for it that my experience has um, blessed me because well, let me put it this way. When you have the experience of a number of things going wrong and then something goes right, you want to do that again because it's easy. And you want to experience more of that feeling of that neighborhood, that bakery you like, that restaurant you love, the place you know you can get this certain champagne. I mean, you're... Like for me, I'm working as I travel, uh, but there's a lot of vacation to it as well. So everybody's different. Nobody travels exactly the same way as the next person, but <clears throat> the difference between a hotel room and an apartment, a hotel room, you're always going to have somebody greet you. Maybe you won't have help with your luggage, but there's going to be somebody there that can answer your questions. If you don't like the room, you can have it changed immediately. Um, there's a little bit more care, um, but like I said, the Sicilian apartments and rooms I've rented, they've all been good. I can't think of one. Well, one, I rented an apartment for only three days, and there were actual bugs on me. In the bed, it wasn't bed bugs. It was kind of like a mosquito feeling without the biting. <laughs> and that owner showed up. He didn't know how to use the laundromat. He didn't, he was funny. But then he said, well, it doesn't matter because you're by yourself. Yeah, it matters when bugs are landing on me. See, I would never run from him again. Doesn't matter because I'm by myself. Yeah, it matters. I want to sleep. I'm paying you. Um... So, I really feel that when you meet, if you can decide on a time 
um, and have it honored on both sides, you learn a lot about the owner and that tells you a lot about how much effort they're willing to put in. They're making, this is a business for them. They're making money and you know, the smaller percentage of people are gonna care about your experience and I wanna rent from those people. I don't wanna rent from people that all they care about is getting your money and and not giving you any kind of slack with giving you the code to get in two hours before they said they would because I don't want to be on the street without Wi-Fi. Like, just, you know, help me out here. You already got paid. And I'm telling you, I'm not coming early. Like, I'm sorry it's been a problem for you, but it's not going to be a problem with me. So, um, so that's why it's good to meet the owners. I know other people don't think it is, but I think it's great. It's worked for me to meet the owners. Um, because they care enough to meet. They're not going, oh, I'm going to get a disease from you. I have to wear a mask, all this stuff. It's like, look, you're in the hospitality business. Act like it. Like, don't act like all you care about is the money. Um, give people a good experience. And I've been on both sides of it. I've run out my own property quite a bit. And... Um, and those person-to-person -person meetings were vital to renting it out. I couldn't have done it just online. I wouldn't have done it. People wanted to do it online, and I said no, because I have to meet the person. So, um, and I had a very nice place that I rented out. So I got to be on both sides of it and see what the person renting is up against and what they need and how uh, you can make a better experience for them. Since it is your business, <laughs> it's not just about making money. If you want to excel at this and be quote unquote a super host, um, and that doesn't mean just on Airbnb, you want to, uh, you're going to stand out by providing excellent service, caring about the experience that your that your people have, that rent your place, that make it possible for you to be in business. Hello, these aren't just people off the street that want a freebie. Um, so there's that. So if I answered your questions, if you have a question about whether you should uh, rent an apartment or a hotel, this, here's the last thing I'll say. It is harder to find apartments for a decent price um, with good owners than it is a hotel room. So there's that. But if it's very important for you to do your own cooking, like I'm gone long term. Like this rental is uh, for a whole month. I gotta cook. I'm not going out to a restaurant for every meal. Even though the food is amazing, I gained 20 pounds. and. Not only that, I don't want to do it. I just want to boil some eggs or make some chicken or make a salad whenever I want, have some coffee. I don't have to go out anywhere. So, um, and even for hotel rooms, I even bring my own little water heater so I can have coffee immediately in my room because you never know. <laughs> some hotel rooms I stayed in this time, I'm like, how the hell do you work that? machine and it was weird kind of coffee it didn't taste that good it was like this liquid this is in europe too i expect premium coffee in europe so i have to always have it and bring it with me and i just do carry on um so the other thing too about renting is you're probably going to be surprised by the fact that you got to walk up five flights for whatever accommodation you got uh so pack light only take carry on because uh, if you're the only one that's going to be moving your luggage, you're going you're gonna to thank me for traveling light because you're not going to be able to get a huge suitcase up a narrow staircase with very steep steps. You could get in trouble and fall down. So, if you have any questions about renting apartments or hotels in Europe, let me know here. I also do travel consultations. So... I do one-on-one, -on, -one, on the phone, um, all over the world. If you want to change your life, change your country, or change your mindset, get in touch um, and share and like the video if you know somebody's going to Europe because this could help them and you. So I'll see you in the next video.